Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to change eye color in Photoshop. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is select the eye. So I'm just going to zoom in here. And the way that I do this, I don't like to use a lasso tool because the lines are pretty um, sharp and I like to keep everything a little bit more smooth. So what I like to do is pull out my brush tool and we're gonna stay on the background layer. Now, before you do anything, go on your keyboard and press Q, the letter Q. Now, when you do that, you're gonna notice that it says quick, quick mask, which is what we want. So you're basically creating a selection with the brush. Make sure the brush opacity is at 100% and just begin to color in the eye. Now, if you make any mistakes, all you have to do is press X on your keyboard and use the white to erase. And you can always fix your selection later. Oh, oops. Again, making sure that the color is black. Now, you could use a lasso tool if you want, but I don't know. I just like the color, so this is what I'm doing. There we go. So now that we have the eyes uh, colored in, what we're going to want to do now is have them selected. So all you have to do now is press Q again, and you'll notice that they are now selected. But... Um, one more thing, we have to invert the selection, so press Command Shift I, and that is for Mac. But if you're using a Windows, I believe it's just Control I to invert the selection. So now we have the eye selected, and we are going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Hue Saturation. Now, this is where we're going to begin coloring the eye, and you can choose the color that you want. Uh, let's try like a brown color. Now, if you start doing this, you're going to notice that it really doesn't make a difference. You have to make sure that the colorize option is selected. So go ahead and just tick that off. And now you can see that you can change the color really easily. And we're going to do a couple more steps just to make them look more real. But just go ahead and select the color that you want. And I usually lower the opacity, by the way. I never keep it like this is, if it was just normal... If you're going to keep it like that, it looks really fake and you want to give it more of a natural look. So just make sure, you know, the saturation is not that high. So I think about there is pretty good. And you can always tweak this. So now what you can do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Curves. And we're doing this extra st step just so that the eyes can look more real. Before you do anything, you're going to want to make this into a clipping mask. So holding the Alt key down, you're going to just want to click in between the curves and hue saturation layer. And as you can see now, all the changes that you make will only affect that color layer. So now you can really make it look um, more natural, which this is more of a natural brown to me. And I think that's pretty good. And I'm only using just the RGB layer, by the way. Now let's say down the line, and by the way, this is a really nice brown color. Um, let's say down the line you change your mind. You don't want brown anymore. All you have to do is just select the hue saturation layer and then simply just toggle that through. And you can pick any color you want. And this is also one extra step if you really wanted to go a little further with, you know, the realistic touch of it. You can make another layer. And you can select, I like to select um, like a orange yellow color. And then what you could do is go from normal to overlay and make sure your, your opacity is about 11%. And again, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. You could simply go over the eye and you can hide the opacity if you want. You can just add that touch of color in there. Again, totally optional. You don't have to do this, but sometimes I like to add that in there to make it look more natural. So again, if you ever change your, want to change your color, just go to Hue Saturation. And you can toggle it to whatever color you like. And let me just go back to the brown so I can show you guys a nice before and after. 
forgot which brawn it was. There we go. That looks pretty good. And this is the after preview. Let me show you guys what it was before. So that was before, and this is after. And I think that looks fantastic. And I'm going to be making a part two of this series on how to enhance the eyes. So I will have a link to that, and you can watch part two. Thank you guys so much for watching.